Back now to the developing news we are following in San Francisco, where an apartment fire in the Corona Heights neighborhood tonight has displaced dozens of people. KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama has had a few minutes now to gather some information. She joins us live from the scene. Jenna, what, what have you learned? Well, Julie, there's still a really thick smell of smoke, but most, basically they have this contained. Right now, they're up on the top of the building trying to basically just clear that area out. They had to evacuate this building and rescue two people who were on one side of the building and another one that was closer on the inside. We talked to one resident about what he saw when he came out. Here's what he had to say. We suddenly heard a chainsaw, which was kind of out of place. So came out up the stairs and took a look, and the fire trucks were already set up and the top floor was fully engulfed, just absolutely burning like a major fire. Yeah. And back here live, we're joined by the spokesperson for the San Francisco Fire Department, Lieutenant Baxter. Thank you so much for joining us here. Quite a scene that you have. First of all, tell us what is the status, uh, both of the building and the fire? So the status now of the fire is the fire is under control. That means there's no forward progress. The flames are all out. Uh, we're pretty darn sure that all the hot spots, so that would be embers, are completely out. And we're now in the phase of what's known as overhaul. And that's a phase where we're pulling a lot of things that could potentially cause a rekindle, which we definitely do not want to do. It's also beneficial to the fire investigators who are currently in the building performing a cause and origin investigation. As for the residents at this time, American Red Cross and City Services are on scene, assisting between 40 and 50. We'll have a better finite number later on today to make sure that they have immediate care now somewhere to go and then we'll be able to provide them with the extensive city services that we have for the long term and no injuries so far you were telling me but you did rescue two people what is their status so fortunately we have zero injuries from this incident we did have two individuals that required rescuing off of balconies from this fire and we applaud those two individuals they had a plan uh, we Just like you, we speak to people when they come out of these buildings. Did you hear the smoke alarm? Did you have a plan? Did you have a second plan? The two people knew what to do. They couldn't go down the hallway. They had to go to plan B, which is the window and the fire escape. When they got to the fire escape, they knew, I don't need to stand here. I need to yell for help, which is what they did. We know now we're going to put our ladders up there, and they become the priority. Luckily, it's basically assisting somebody down a ladder at that point because they're not injured. We got them away from the fire, and they're, luckily they're back with all their friends and family safe and sound. That is good news. And finally, very quickly, how long will you need to be blocking off this road? How long will you be here tonight? So Upper Terrace is a very narrow and windy road. We have fire apparatus strung along the entire corridor of Upper Terrace. I would not come up here for the next four to five hours. If you don't have a reason to be up here, you're going to get stuck. Um, but we will have this definitely cleared out by probably two or three in the morning. And still working on the cause? Yeah, cause and origin is going to take some time. Our fire investigators are doing that right now. And at a later date, we'll have that cause and origin available for you. All right, thank you so much, Lieutenant. And again, no injury, so a really good thing in this residential neighborhood where you saw some of those flames. It pretty scary up here tonight. Uh, but for now, we'll send it back to you, and we'll, of course, have updates probably following up tomorrow morning on Mornings on 2. Yeah, that was a great update. Big flames coming from that big apartment building. 40 to 50 families displaced tonight, but quick work by the San Francisco Fire Department. A good job out there tonight. Jana, thank you.